It's been a very busy year here in East Tennessee. Here's a recap of some of the top stories of the year. Some you may have missed. Take a look. The University of Tennessee and the city of Knoxville are now looking at building a bridge. This is officially a hostile market for those of you who want to peddle your drugs in our area. The Chinese balloon being used for surveillance is flying some 60,000 feet. This is our best guess in house of a possible track. Officers arrested Lisa Edwards at Fort Sanders Regional Medical Center Sunday. She died Monday night. Five people shot including a child in Sweetwater. As a building where uranium is handled caught fire around 915 in the morning. Probably one of the best tournament sites for a Bassmaster Classic that could be. A tragic night here in the Green Hills community of Nashville as the Covenant School community mourns the loss of six of their own. Jury is set for the two teens accused of killing Austin East High School student Stanley Freeman Jr. A day full of protests has ended with East Tennessee Representative Gloria Johnson getting just enough votes to keep her seat in the state house. A trench collapse in North Knox. A teacher is recovering after being grazed by a bullet fired inside a classroom at Knoxville's West High School. There was gunfire. A couple of injuries to two people. Those injuries are considered serious as well as serious injuries to a police dog. 2023 SEC champions. On our very first WVLT Originals documentary, the true story traced to a corrupt governor's administration. Several tornadoes touched down in East Tennessee. In the small town of Helenwood, located in Scott County, numerous trees are down. Heading back to Omaha for a second time in three seasons. Here's a look at the newest designs for this new baseball slash whatever stadium. Buckeyes has officially opened their doors in East Tennessee. There's a 10 year old accidentally shot at the YWCA. The NCAA finally hands down their punishment after that multi year investigation into the Vols football program under Jeremy Pruitt. I'm 100% con convinced that it is not our, any of our allies or any of our enemies aircraft that it did not come from this world. The Sevierville Police Department called it abhorrent conditions. At this home, more than 30 beagles were found neglected. Or WVLT's own Chef Walter Lambert has died. Tennessee Department of Agriculture is investigating the JL Ranch Adventure Park in Sevierville. This is drone video that gives a really wide picture of just the damage you're dealing with. Right here is the roof of the school. Severe flooding after heavy rain throughout the early morning hours. Telico Plains saw as much as six inches in some parts of the area. Thompson Bowling Arena will now be called Thompson Bowling Arena at Food City Center. <laughs> the fire broke out last night around 8 at Scott Recycling off Verner Avenue in Newport. For the 103rd Tennessee Valley Fair. The Knoxville Fire Department's Emergency Operations Center is activated now. This is because of a shortage of ambulances. That a Knox County Sheriff Tucker Blakely was shot and killed in the line of duty. The United States Capitol, the Washington Monument, and the World War II Memorial. These are just some places we're gonna be checking out today with more than 130 East Tennessee veterans. We're learning tonight more about a Knoxville soldier who was killed after a transport vehicle flipped in Alaska. He was a Gibbs High School graduate. Dozens of East Tennesseans are in Israel right now, including our very own Alan Williams. Right now we are safe and we wanna let you know that we are vigilant. We hear your prayers, we feel your prayers. We want to let you know that we are okay today. He was waiting on you. Yes. Then he said, I'll kill you. And he fired a weapon uh, twice, striking me in the face. The facility now under the microscope after claims they keep inmates in seclusion for too long. The plane took off from Island Home Airport in Knoxville yesterday and crashed in Giles County. James Blaylock and his daughter Jenny from Knoxville were both killed in that crash. And here at UT Medical Center, their emergency room is about to get a major upgrade. For some, laying wreaths is the perfect way to honor those veterans who fought for their country before them.